Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to TerraTech with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome to yet another abomination of building kind. In today's episode, we are going to be simply following the missions and hopefully learning a few more of the intricate details of the game. So currently, we are using this tech, which is big, at least, and has enough guns and has a lovely drill because we are going to be going out to cut rocks, which means we want the drill and we want some way to defend ourselves. And of course, we've got our little collectors to make sure we can grab everything and bring it back to our little factory setup. We've also got a geothermal engine. Now, I actually have no idea how this works, so that is something we'll have to look into as the episode progresses. Now, off camera, I have finished a few little missions, hence why I've got more gear now, and it gave me one of the most adorable little cabins ever. Look at it, it's just so cute. Or trucks, or cabs even, as they are called in this game. I'm a little bit derpy when it comes to terminology. This is a cab, it's really adorable. Eventually, I believe we can even get an AI for it, so it can go out and harvest for us. Look! It's so cute with its tiny little drill, it's really, really adorable. But I would like to get back into this tech, thank you very much, so we can go out and collect some more rocks so that we can continue with this faction, which of course is the Geo... something or other. I can't remember right now. I remember it's Geo something. It's the guys who have made pretty much all of this craft, with a few minor exceptions. So, I don't know if the drill is actually better than just shooting something. I don't know if it gives a bonus if you've drilled through a resource. But until I can figure that out, I'll just use the drill and I see an enemy on the horizon. Which has quite a lot of stuff. So let's go and say hello to him and make our day a little bit more interesting and see what's in those rocks over there, the weirdly cully, the weirdly colored ones, cully ones. I can do the words. Okay, oh no, you're still alive. I thought you were dead, and now you are. Go boom. Thank you. Anything of interest for us? Well, a couple of extra weapons won't hurt. We can put them on the back here, and of course, they can turn around normally when the enemy flanks us. So happy with that. We could, of course, also rotate them, but I don't think that really makes too much of a difference for these weapons, since they can rotate on an axis anyway. I don't know if that's the case. I will have to check the next time. What is that? That's a drill. Just a drill. Loads of lasers, though. Also, all of my guns are currently trying to face that thing, which means we can actually have a quick look-see. And yes, they do turn. The enemy is called Drillbot. I imagine he has a drill. He's probably a bot. Expert knowledge there by Latherix. Ooh, you're just another one of these, okay. He had a lot of guns. Not much else, apparently, but a lot of guns. You've got to respect a lot of guns. More drills, more guns. Okay, let's go and say hello to the other fellow, the drill bot. Ooh, you're huge. Look at my hail of bullets! Just dropping exploding pieces everywhere, that's fine, don't worry about it. You know that is littering, right? Oh, that's glorious, I love these guns. I think the lasers may do more damage, but the fact that these can hail fire like that makes me very happy. So I will try to put more of them on my bot as I can collect them. I like the idea of just having a gun bed. We could probably actually make it quite flat and still function as long as the enemy isn't too close. Oh, the drill bot's still alive. I thought it actually died. Apparently I was wrong. Hello. You have pretty much nothing left. Goodbye. That'll explode and now you will die. Ah, don't drill. Give me that drill. I still don't know how to sell this stuff, so I'm just kind of attaching it for no reason. Okay. Let's shoot it with guns. Will this count as clearing out the rock? Seems to be slower than the drill anyway. Maybe do both at the same time. And this one actually has stuff in it, which is lovely. Rhodite? Okay, let's grab all of that. We can always take it back to be processed anyway. So many bullets, that makes me very happy. And both of those seem to have stuff inside them. Wonderful. And that will be the last two rocks as well. Yeah, not sure if the drill actually does anything beneficial here, so I may just put the um, beams back, the welding plasma beams. Ooh, cool. Oh no, our reward's going to be all the way over here. Please don't give me too much stuff. Okay, okay, okay. What on earth are you? You are a... I don't actually know. What are you called? What are you? 
Scoop Claw. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. That is really cool. So when I press space, it can scoop up things and throw it onto the back. Oh, wow. We could probably have a proper digger with that. Okay. Very, very cool. You are just a bit of something or other. I'll just put you there for now. Actually, what are you then? You're very weird. And when you go on, you become just regular again. Okay, that's something else we we'll need to check out when we get back. Same with you, I imagine. So, my poor wheels right now are a little bit overburdened with all the new stuff. And I'm leaving plenty of stuff behind, which I could be selling. But either way, let's continue forth. And I'm going to go with the Harvester again. I want to keep on going with the Harvester. Let's become the ultimate miners. That'll be pretty awesome. Plus, hopefully it will lead into the factory stuff as well, which will be really cool. A little bit in the future, as you can probably tell by all of the scrap currently on the floor, but sadly, all the stuff I was just doing was honestly incredibly boring. So I've upgraded the vehicle a little bit, if you can call it being upgraded, and we have some new stuff to play with. We have this furnace, which I have no idea how to use yet. We have the pay dispenser, or the payload, whatever it's actually called, the GSO version, which will allow us to purchase stuff from our base, so definitely going to have to move that elsewhere in the future. And we have a few more bits and pieces here and there, such as a couple of new versions of the conveyor belt, all because I've just been harvesting rocks and doing all of the really basic missions. Now we are going to destroy an enemy tech group all the way over there, so that is the next goal. But yeah, when I say upgrade, I actually mean I kind of wanted to add more guns and I kind of wanted to add both of the plasma cutters, so here we are with all of the guns and all of the plasma cutters. It makes me happy, even if almost all of the wheels are currently overloaded. Not the best. Oh, and we have a new battery. I've called him John. This is John the Battery. He's my favourite battery, but please don't tell Jeff. Ooh, blue things. I love blue things. Blue things seem to be the best colour of things. There we are. Now, here's the problem with having all that storage on the back. It's a little bit annoying to actually get it there, even though you can, of course, just mouse over it and drag it. That seems to take even longer, so let's just slowly mine this out. There we are. What I think I need to start doing is building more techs, because, of course, we can just swap between them, and have one which is dedicated to harvesting, one which is combat, and all of that. But for now, we are the kings of harvesting. We have all the stuff and everything. Ooh, hello. I'm guessing both of those are very, very bad enemies. They are bad people and need to be dealt with. Does this bubble go over my main weapons? Good, it does. Hello. Could you not attack me? If you didn't attack me, that'd be glorious. Hello. Okay, you're attacking me. Plasma cutters, gentlemen. It's re They are really, really nasty. Battery low on our repair, though, so we need to be a bit more careful. Oh, screw it, we're careful. We're just going to laser them to death. There we go. Was that it? Good. We are victorious, and we are getting our just rewards. What did we get? Okay. Okay, nothing really all that interesting, I suppose. We can sell this, maybe, at the Trade Depot, perhaps, possibly? Be nice if we could. Must be said. Okay, we're going to make this look incredibly bizarre, because it'll be the easiest way to transport all of this back to the base. Also, we now have Crafty Business 2, so once again we can meet with Crafty Mike, which hopefully will, will give us some new stuff to do with building a factory, because that would be really, really cool. Also, this is so silly. Yeah, this... Yep, definitely the silly factor coming out here. Now that wouldn't work, would it? I don't have the side connections there. That's a shame. So the last two, we're just going to carry on the back there as if they're resource, sure. Now, I'm not sure if you can sell the really large items. I'll have to try when we get back. I finally figured out that you can simply sell items at the trade depot, which is really helpful, by the way. So I will have to test that out. Also, I definitely prefer these guns because they can shoot over all the others, which means placement isn't quite as bad. If you do something like I'm doing now, which of course is because I'm not really anywhere with spare blocks. You a laser over there? Or are you something else? You are a laser, so sure we'll bring you as well. You're worth something to someone, so may as well. 
We'll put it there in case that one gets broken. Same with you. I wonder if there's any other missions. I'm, I'm trying to do the Geo ones as much as possible because I find these interesting. I, I like the design. I like the kind of forklift style. Forklift kind of construction site style, I should say. Okay, we're going to do the next We've Got Hostiles. And we're just going to go as we are. So, so slow. Hello! How you doing there, buddy? And... Boom! Good! Now we have spare blocks, we can put them everywhere. That is way too much stuff. Um, how am I going to do this? Just, I guess, make some towers on the back or something to make it a little bit easier on myself? I guess that's what we're going to do? Sure, why not? Once again, we have became the mobile scrap heap of the world. And you know, I'm still okay with that. Still okay with it, and I will steal that light, because we're missing one light on the back. There we are. Now we're perfect. In every way. And the gun over there, excellent. They are worth a, at least a fair bit. Ooh, we actually lost some guns at the front there. Which is to be expected with so many fights, I suppose. Um, let's move that one forwards then. Good. Continuing! Hello, tiny Taurus. Ooh, you actually have stuff I want. Um, let's be careful with killing this guy then. No, come back! You're tiny and obviously very quick because of this! Well, at least we've got another one of the resource receivers so we can speed up our factory later. Aha! The rock was your only main enemy! Not me, the rock. The rock is actually the main antagonist of this fellow. And did I get the other one? Yes, I did! Wonderful! Two of them. And let's just kill you for good measure. Goodbye. I said goodbye. I said goodbye. There we go. And we get ourselves a new gun, which is always nice. And I've even repaired a little section that got damaged. Aren't I a good boy? And I see the next main enemies. Hello there. Ooh, hello. Is there also a gun on the floor? All this stuff I can sell. So, so very much stuff. Maybe going back would have been better so that we could power up our batteries again. Though I think that's going to be more important when I unlock the shields. There we are, you're down. Don't really want to go near the explodey stuff. Excellent! Geocorp license upgrade level 2! We now have access to the tr no, oh, sorry, no. New blocks can be purchased at the trading station or crafted with the fabricator. That's interesting. Ooh, ooh, what are you? Other than awesome looking. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's very cool. Oh, so much cool stuff. Oh, look at oh, look at the level of awesome. Oh, that is a beautiful array of shiny yellow things. I love my shiny yellow things. Okay, you can go here. You can, you know, obviously I'm just shoving all this on right now, but just look. <laughs> like, this game is all about becoming a, just a mobile scrappy, but every single opportunity. It doesn't give you a moment to not become one. Um, these lights, sure, I can sell them. I don't, I don't really care too much about lights. I mean, I know they're aesthetically pleasing and all that other stuff, but still. Can I even move? Yeah, apparently I can. Okay, good, good to know that these wheels are heavy duty, considering they, they come from the same faction. Um, you go there, the big drill. If we, if we can sell it, I'm sure it's worth a lot. There we are. We are the ultimate scrap heap. Oh no, I left one thing! Oh, look how- is that a trading post? Oh, it is, okay, cool. So there's more than one in uh, quite a small area, honestly. Cool. Okay, let's get back. Oh, this is gonna be treacherous. Let's go along the flat route, and let's get back, let's see what we can sell, and then we're going to go ahead and do one of these two. I'm assuming... yeah, we're going to do Crafty Business 2 first of all. Jelly Harvester. Mine Rubber Jelly. Uh, rubber jelly? I'm assuming from a rubber tree. 
Question mark. Oh, I see an enemy. Ha! Clearly, Geotech is all about the mining and the harvesting. Explains the very heavy duty but not particularly fast wheels. Oi, Grapple, get back here, mate. There we are. Goodbye. Let's get back and let's make a faster vehicle. Oh, Lord. Oh, that was so sketchy. That might be the biggest enemy I've seen just in the wild, not associated to a quest. Shoot him down, lads. There he goes. One of the biggest. Also, amazingly, one of the weakest. Sure. Why not? Now, remember when I said I was a scrap heap? Now, I'm a scrap heap. I really hope I can sell all this stuff, otherwise we are really wasting our time grabbing everything. But at the same time, it is kind of beautiful to be so... so terrible. Welcome home! Please say we can sell this stuff. Come on, let's get that close enough to that first. There we go. That's sort of working. In a way. Kinda. Can you sell? It's hard to... T I don't think the big ones will sell. Maybe there's a way to sell them, but clearly it's not liking being put here. Oh, oh, yes it can. Okay, it's just a little bit fiddly to actually get it in there. So let's put all of these in there if possible. Actually, no, not the regular block. I do need those. So many things just breaking. Why are you not get? How did that get reversed? Hmm, weird. Can I reverse it without actually taking it off? That'd be great. Ah, there we go. I wonder why that reversed then. Need to get used to little things like that. Anyway, I'll be back in a second once I've sold stuff and made my robot look somewhat presentable again. Most of the stuff was sold and so we carry on and the enemies have definitely got stronger. They are now almost all from the Geo group. Thankfully though, sometimes they don't face the right way apparently. There we go. You're essentially dead. Absolutely wonderful. And so we can have some more stuff we can sell because, you know, it's so easy to do so. It does seem a little bit buggy. I actually had to restart the game twice while selling stuff because stuff just stopped selling even though I was definitely doing it correctly. Then after coming back to the game, it would work again. It's kind of bizarre. Hello, Mr. Crafty Mike. How you doing, sir? My base had another little accident, okay? I have the receiver. Okay, putting it on the end. This silo. I wonder what that is. Okay. What's going on here then? Hmm. What? You didn't know? What didn't I know? Silos? Oh, that's what I need. Actually, I just need general storage. Is there any way to store items? Can we compress the items into a bank or something? We need that. If that exists, I'll be very happy. Because right now I have loads of stuff just lying around. There we are. What's your little secret, Mike? Those trading stations, they're a complete rip-off. Are they? So I found a way to make blocks mo Oh, is this going to be crafting? Finally. Sorry, Mike. Actually, that was a good job I moved. That one would have hit me. Don't know if it would have done damage, but... I, well, actually, it looks like it would have done damage. Behold the fabricator. With this, I'll soon get you making stuff for me. Ahem. <clears throat> I mean, why don't you <laughs> I show you how to use it? Thanks, Mike. Like, sir. Right-click on the fabricator. Ooh. One plum bite ore plus one fiber wood chunk equals one block. Sure. Oh, I see. So then it, it, it can collect the resource from the silo. It can actually detect where it is. That's pretty nice and simple. Okay. Now we've got a block. 
So now I need to keep on making blocks. Sure. Can you stack them? Ooh, so is that like a repeat button? So it'll keep on doing it over and over again? Yes, it will. I'm guessing now this is mine to grab. Okay, what, what else is there to build? Let's have a look, see. So we can build all the weaponry. I wonder if the... I wonder if it's worth more to sell these items than to sell the raw resources, and that way, having all this set up... Oh, because we also have filters, don't we? We have the filter conveyor belt, so we can filter off different items to different silos, and then... Okay. Although, saying that, as long as the silos are attached, surely it can just grab them from anywhere. I don't really know how it all works, so let's just grab these for now. Thank you, I'll be taking that, and yes, I will be taking all of these as well, because that is lovely jabbly. Thank you very much. And even a couple of regular blocks to sell, how fantastic. Okay, we've got everything, uh, no, we've left our drill, now we've got everything. And I still need to build something better. So, what do we have available to us? The Jelly Harvester and Capture the Enemy Base. I think for now, I'm actually going to call the episode, though. It's been a lot of fun, even though I did end up losing... Well, not losing, end up not using a lot of the footage. Today has been a lot of fun, and I still need to learn to build better. Either way, though, we've been doing pretty well, and now we are progressing along the campaign, so soon we should have a little mini factory up and running. Also, look how cool that is, that little rain of shots. I am starting to feel less inclined to pick up stuff on a side note. It just takes so long and it's... Although it is certainly worth it. For instance, these wheels are worth, I think, like, almost a hundred. Ooh, hello. Or perhaps just over a hundred. Around the hundred mark. It's just annoying. Hello. You're more agile than me and that is very annoying. Thankfully, of course, my top guns can fire in a axis. And down you go anyway. Goodbye. Grab all the wood, because why not? And let's get going. Now was that... Oh, okay, so that is rubber jelly then. So essentially we're just harvesting trees for this stuff. Okay. So, like I was saying, thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that TerraTech is a series you would like to see continued in the future. I really hope there is storage for regular blocks. Because it's getting a little bit ridiculous now, honestly. Also, need to build this on a flatter terrain. Trying to get these to go to the right places is very annoying. Also, that's being held by the silo. Let's move the silo somewhere else for now, just put it on the floor. There we are. That's why it wasn't grabbing, it didn't want to grab from the silo. Can that be sold here? I think it can. Yes, it can. Okay. Like I say, a little bit fiddly. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.